We do not advocate with actually smelling shit. <laughs> no, 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 no. This is accidental, right? If you accidentally, hundred percent, hundred percent. Yeah, because the smell thing, if it's in a vapor or gas format, it is highly made for your lung. Your lungs are made for bringing that chemical in, and so it is. Olfactory fatigue is another thing where, especially like those styles like hydrogen sulfide and stuff like that, you'll be like, oh, this is getting better. Things are getting better. I don't smell it no more. No, your nose is just getting dumb. And so those things reduce the amount of toxicity awareness that we have. And it's, it's an indicator that you should only use unintentionally. Sensory clues can help us support our size up, right? They can help us determine our PPE levels. They can help us through the decision-making process, uh, especially in something like isolation or evacuation, where it just may be that the only way that you can detect something mm. is by smelling it. Frankly, they have the best training out there. Everybody says so. Tremendous courses, fantastic trainers. Let's make hazmat training great again.